Hello everyone, it's Red and welcome back for some more of GTA 4. We are back with the Nico Bellic in the exact same outfit. We still need to go shopping, so we will get around to doing that. Babysitting, but we're here to see Derek first. Get in the boat, me boy! Get a skipper of this little vessel! Tax are these coordinates. Go to Kim's boats. Okay. All right. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, doesn't yeah. matter. I owe you an apology. Yeah. Bro. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Bucky and Abe, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago, then. Yeah, so Abe got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him and Bucky think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. From what I hear, Abe still rants about me to anyone who listens. I know how it feels to be the Mm. Yes, we do. Okay, so this is it. Oh. Oh. You Fox Boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedica? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Huh? Follow Kim? Okay. So we're covering the rear. Another immigrant. Arriving in this city. Trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. It's in the hands of the Lord now. What the fuck is this? <gasps> you got a clue! Ooh. We gotta protect him. I've got to swim all the night and come back tomorrow to die for those notes. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. This is better. Oh, I'm coming, Kim. I'm coming, I'm coming. Shh. Oh. What? I have no idea. <gasps> Another. Okay. On the right, boys. Ooh. Um. 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 I can't go any faster than what I'm going. I can't zoom in. <gasps> so. Oh, really? Yeah, I've just noticed. What? Um. Um. Oh. Oh. What? Come on, that that's got a hit. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't run us over, Kim. We have a text message, by the way. Messages. Little Jacob. I restar, you got crazy flying skills, and I should fly over to Jamrock one day. Sight. Easy. LJ. Okay. I think that was a positive sort of... I think that was a compliment. 
we got from LJ, so thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love how it's just this tiny little boat and it's just Kim. There's nobody else on board, but just Kim. And all of that fake, fake cash. <sighs> uh, got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Mr. McGarry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Mm. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. Unfortunately, I don't see any taxis, so that leaves us no choice but to bother poor Roman's only taxi guy, apparently. Wait right there, MB. I'm dispatching one now. I'm dispatching one now. I'm dispatching the only one now. <laughs> oh, God. I, I genuinely feel like I feel like somewhat anxious waiting for this man to turn up just dreading what he's gonna say dreading you know the f I mean it just there he is there he is what does he look like can we see what he looks like yeah he looks exactly as he sounds here we are you're doing good, but he still get me to pick up his piss-faced cousin for free. Aren't I lucky, boy? I want to go to Pyrite Street. Piss balls. So, am I taking you to a big Stay drug deal or some day. shit, my friend? You got a package of snow strapped to your chest? I don't know what <sighs> you're talking about. <laughs> what? You didn't think I was down with that game? You didn't think I knew what you were about? I done all kinds of crazy shit. I only started driving this cab to make my wife shut up. You can't go around busting caps in people when you got responsibilities. Perhaps you shouldn't go around busting caps in people regardless of uh. your responsibilities. <laughs> Have we That's even moved? Funny. Next thing you are going to tell me I shouldn't be having extramarital affairs. You got to do that shit to survive, my friend. Of course. And to help your survival, you should just stick to driving this car, man. Okay, so obviously... Hiya. It's time. Hiya. I'm gonna call you Gino, because that's what the hairstyle is giving. It's giving Gino. You look hot today, honey. So do you, Gino. Yes, Gino. Giving Gino. Obsidian suit. I have been wanting to wear this suit. What? Wait, what? This one? Already own? Press E to try again. Is it in my wardrobe? Wow. I guess I have to repurchase it. That's not a massive deal. Uh, do I want to wear this? Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> Here's a thought. Why not not wear a suit? Mmm, mix it up. Mm. Go for this. You go for this. That's the charcoal. This one is the one with the red shirt. Ooh. Nico. I'm doing it. I have to. I have to. Get some suit slacks. Ooh, ah, ee. Let's just explore all options before we commit to a certain trouser. No to this one. Espresso. Whoa, whoa. The lighting is terrible in here. I really don't notice a massive difference between you are looking fine. S um, between them. <sighs> I'm just going to buy one. Just buy, just, should I just go with the slate? Eh. Uh, 
I'm gonna buy them. You're gonna break some hearts in that. If I don't like it, we have more than enough money to come back and switch it up. <gasps> Packy's calling. Answer. What's up, man? It's me. Why don't we get off our asses and go see something? Go to a show? <gasps> yes! We could go see something. I'll pick you up in the next hour. Nice one, Nico. See you soon. I hope to God I get to see. It's going to be a comedy show. Right? So I'm hoping it's going to be like a new comedian that we haven't seen yet. Even though I'd be happy with another Ricky Gervais set. Um... Let's go see Packy. So we need to go to Denver Exeter Avenue. Okay. <gasps> oh, the comedy. Sh okay. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Boy, how's it going? What's happening with you? This and that, you know. Trying to make ends meet. Going aren't to the comedy all, club. Nico, aren't we all? Well, sometimes we're trying to keep our heads above the water. Other times we're trying to drown ourselves in it. You feel that way? You ever feel that need to obliterate yourself? Maybe sometimes. I mainly try to focus my need to destroy things onto other people. <laughs> well, that's because you ain't Irish. If an Irishman ain't beating himself up, he's beating up his family. With me, it's myself. My pa was different. It's this fucking chop that's screwing me at the moment. I can't go out and look for chicks without it. But once I'm out, I'm in the can most of the night doing rails. After that, there ain't a chance in hell of me being able to get hard. It's a fucking catch-22. I gotta cut down on this shit. That might be a good idea, man. Mm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're here. Welcome the pimp himself, Mr. Cat Williams. God! That's literally him. That's the exact. It's the, it's the exact height as well. <laughs> oh. Crazy Liberty City. Anything goes. Everything's crazy. Weed is illegal. Ain't that a motherfucker? They mm. should have put that in the motherfucking brochure. Mm -hmm. Feel free to come to Liberty City, but weed is illegal. Kind of cockamamie shit is this? Weed is illegal. How the fuck can you make a plant illegal? Weed is just a plant. It's just a plant. It just grows like that. And if you should happen to set it on fire, there are some effects. That's not the same as drugs. Drugs, you got to do shit to it chemically. You got to add baking soda, water, stir it up. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying there's some shit you got to do to it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We ain't never hurt nobody. Aspirin is perfectly legal. But if you take 13 of them motherfuckers, it'll be your last headache. As long as you've been living, you ain't never heard of a motherfucker overdose on marijuana. You might have thought that nigga was dead. He ain't dead. He'll wake up in 30 minutes. Hungry enough to eat up everything in your house. That's <laughs> hungry, happy, sleepy. That's it. Uh, Meanwhile, legal pills got side effects to it. Mm. Yeah, side effects. And the side effect is worse than the shit that is curing. And I'm thinking nobody's noticing this but me. I'm just saying, if I'm taking some shit for asthma, I don't need the side effect to be shortness of breath. That's what the fuck I came to you for. <laughs> A lot of crazy shit in Liberty City. I've been all around this motherfucker. I ain't seen a dog or a cat yet. <laughs> hmm? Just thought about it, didn't you? Go ahead, take back. No, that wasn't a dog. I've just so seen a bus, so... Like myself, bending over to pick up something. You might yeah. Oh, it was a dog. I'm not a Rottweiler motherfucker. That's me. <laughs> Drop some money. No dogs, no fucking cats. And I know you're thinking, well, how's that important? Because what's next? Short people? Where are they going to cut the line? Five, 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 six? Who the fuck? You don't know. You don't know. Just one day, whoosh, all the short people gone. It'd just be you tall ass freaks left there to fend for yourselves. Wanna ask me to pick up shit from down there? I can't do it because I ain't fucking here. Me or the dogs or the cats. It's a crazy place. Everything's crazy about here. The fans in Liberty City are crazy. Let me just say something. If you six foot 99, don't walk up on me all aggressive trying to tell me how much you love me. You scaring the shit out of me. You, hey, son. Hey, son. Welcome to Liberty City, son. You, you funny as fuck, son. Wait a minute. Lady, I don't let motherfuckers just spit on me while they talking. That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You got a guy selling CDs? Motherfucker won't even tell you what's on the CD. 
He done wrote his name in crayon on the CD, just passed it to me, passed it to me, passed it to me so fast I'd already bought it before I even knew what was going on. I just walked up to him, just, hey, how you doing? What the fuck, the CD here's about, what the fuck just happened? Why everything gotta move so fast around here anyway? I wanna slow down and relax, but you can't do that no way, cause weed is illegal. Anyway, that's been all my motherfucking time. Thank you so much, Liberty City, I appreciate it. Thanks for the love, Cat Williams. Have a good night. Oh, this is like my favorite part of the game so far. And it just might be my favorite part. Are we done, Packy? No words from Packy. I don't know if he enjoyed it. I don't know if he did, but I did. So, yep. Guess we'll just go home now. Thoroughly enjoying the shows. Okay, bye, Packy. You're buying Panky. All right. Thumbs up. I was really going to, when he called me, I was going to accept and then call him back and be like, cancel. But he said show and I was like, <laughs> comedy show? Yes, 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 yes. Actions speak louder than words. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Here. No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Mm. Kathy swears by you. Absolutely. It's a bit early for whiskey. Yeah. <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for... Any asshole with a buck, a whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. <laughs> yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we got to create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're going to plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Incheon Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. <clears throat> Pick up the bomb on Incheon Avenue. This is such a weird house to get to. Is there a taxi? Taxi! Oh, taxi, taxi. Oh, taxi, taxi. I'm so sorry. You've got to leave. Nico! Nico! No! no. <laughs> Every single freaking time they're gonna stop down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna yank her out the car and shove her out the car and fling her across the road. Get out! Wait, 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 wait. Nico! Nico! You stupid malaka! <laughs> Stop! No! <laughs> wait. No, I've decided on this car. This is my taxi. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. Forget it. Nico, I don't understand what that just was. Unbelievable. I was I was pressing it. I was trying to get into the car and he was just completely ignoring the taxi and that woman and just went for the car behind. And what would you know? Completely pointless anyway, because I'm literally right here and I could have walked. Shit. Unbelievable. 
I don't need to do anything apart from pick up the thing. And then... Where is it? Oh, it's here. <clears throat> so, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen. The Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. Now, you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy. I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this task. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system. And besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. Mm-hmm. Go to the Ancelotti's car and rig it with the bomb. Rig it with the bomb? Watch it, man. You watch it. You watch it. Oh, Nico, you keep running into the... I don't... What are you getting caught on, Nico? The door? The car? I don't understand. Freaking walking into the door and it's just like... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is it. This is it. Go to the back of of the Ancelotti's car to read it with the bomb. Ooh. Get a vehicle and move away from the rigged car. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, he just dropped his coffee. Hey, what's going on? I can't stop crashing this thing. What about that other thing? Oh, that's an interesting NPC. <laughs> he just dropped his coffee. He was like, hey, we'll just, what's going on? Making a whole scene and then he calls someone. Okay. <laughs> hey, Big Tone. Did you kick some ass or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Follow the Ancelotti's. Don't let them know you're following them. We're following you. Okay. <clears throat> I remember some time back, wasn't there a game that came out that was like... Oh, come on, dude. Stop. <sighs> really? You're lucky I don't stop this car right now and fail this mission just to shoot some holes into that fancy car of yours. Anyway, so... I think there was like a game that came out that had like something to do with the microphone. And if you spoke, then it was like game over sort of thing. I think one of you guys must have told me about it. What was the, what was the, what was the, what was, I'm gonna fail this, no I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, we're gonna catch up, we're gonna catch up, we're catching up. What was the name of that game? What was the name of that game? Also, I found out, what's it called, Game Center, ooh, getting too close. I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm the worst person for the job right now. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, there's a box. What's it called? Game Scent or something? Where you can, like... It's, like, scents for as you play video games. So, it's like a box that... It's kind of like an air freshener thing. Almost. With different scents, like... A gunpowder scent. And a... Uh, the scent of, I'm getting too close, the scent of like a uh, forest or smoke maybe, you know, stuff like that, which I think is so cool. And then I saw the price and I was like, <laughs> maybe one day. <laughs> I would so love to, but I feel like things like that typically they get released, but because they are pretty pricey. Because they are pretty pricey. It just kind of... 
gets lost into the abyss because nobody hears about it because nobody goes out of the way to buy it because it's too expensive or it's too pricey for just kind of what it is um, and then nobody hears about it so you know it just kind of goes away <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's I feel like that's the sort of cycle of life for things like that really cool like gizmos that you don't really need but are just very very cool and would be very very cool to try and have this is a this is taking forever this is taking forever this is taking forever like i'm about to just blow up the car right now okay go to a safe point and detonate the bomb Ooh, this is exciting call Jerry to detonate the bomb <laughs> Let's call Jerry. Select detonate to explode the bomb. Three, two, one. I already pressed it. I thought it was going to be an instant thing. Turns out, not that instant. <laughs> ah. The explosions have been impeccable on her. They have been very, very fun to watch. <laughs> Take out the remaining Ancelotti's. Oh, don't get the rocket launcher out. Oh. I need to take cover. You guys did remind me. Oh, he just. Oh, well done, you. Well done, you. <laughs> oh, dear. Excuse me? I got him. I got you. Okay. Cover me. Die, you shit. Can I shoot through the box or no? You're fine, you immigrant. Oh. Come on. We got to go. We got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's here. Bye, gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Random car there. Okay. Ooh. Lady planted in weird, suspicious place, wearing very skimpy clothing. Ooh. More of them. Ooh. We've got the money. 9k. Okay. Well, mm, it feels good to be 9k richer. Calling Jerry. Jerry, I hit the Ancelotti's crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother that wouldn't put his shit. faith in a bum. He'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan's complete. Come see me. Talk about step two. Okay. Hopefully you guys caught on to what I was trying to do. Uh, you are. You. No, not you. No! Really? Okay. Oh, look at Nico. Where to? He's better than me. I'm trying to <laughs> yank somebody out of the car. He's going to the one that's available. Tunnel of death. Alright, boy? Yes. 
good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. Naivete. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well, how do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? I heard he's being moved. <clears throat> Maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy, just this last point. His eyes are crazy wicked. Sure, Dad. Okay. All right. Um <clears throat> Oh, Packy's calling. Answer. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley. Off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it. What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block him that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. Get the truck, okay. Nope. Just get a taxi. Get a taxi. Get a taxi. No, because somebody's already in there. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Let's just hijack this random person, particularly now that they've just ran me over. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And away we go. There we go. He's totally, definitely sped up. Did he not speed up? I felt like that was a speed up. I was honking that horn and that police guy was, he was like, oh, which is obviously what I was trying to. It was exactly the reaction I wanted. Taking his sweet time going around that corner. What are we doing? Guys, it, it irks me. I don't, it just irks me because I still don't understand what he's walking into. If I knew and it made sense, I would be like, I can't, I'm not going to get mad, but I just right, don't understand. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great. They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. Oh, this is very clever. Block off the booth tunnel. So we're gonna block. I'm gonna block one end of the tunnel. Packy's going to block the other end, and we're going to take him with us making it look like prison escape and then taking him out for good that's such a genius plan that's very smart <laughs> okay oh <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, 
park the truck across the two markers to block the tunnel. Perfect. I'm in position, Khaki. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. Think he's doing. Hey Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Hey buddy, we're gonna need you to move this thing. Let's go, boys. Oh, this is fun. Okay, I'm moving up, moving up. Okay. Mm. Ooh, it's a little hard to see. It's a little smoky. No, I can't get him. Okay. I can't. S Where's your friend? Where's this one? Okay, he's not coming. Go, 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 go. Get, get in cover, get in cover. Okay. There's another one behind me. Yeah, just you. There we go. Steal the stockade. Wait for Packy. Come on, darling. Are we in? Check the cops, Nico. Shake these cops, Nico. We need them to think Aiden is free as a fucking bird. Lose your wanted us. level. Okay. All right, all right. I'll try to lose these fucking cops. Ooh. Okay, we have company. We have company. <laughs> Great, we've got some transport. Just keep Nothing jumping out of the car. All right, Nico. Now that we lost him, we gotta go out to the cliffs and leftward. Take Aiden to the cliffs. Take him to the cliffs. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right. Somewhere the cops will never find me. Yeah. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit. I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. Did you take driving lessons off of Katie? Look at the... Oh, look at the boat. Look at the view. Look at the water. Out you come, old boy. What a nice place to take a the really cliff, long kip. The sea air. Take a I really long nap. Free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd talk about him? 
He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. Kill Aiden. Any last words? Hmm? Hmm? Fucking Derek, my fucking Riri. <laughs> that was his last that was the last thing that he said that's what he decided to say <laughs> McCreary <laughs> uh. Aiden is dead that's the end of a chapter I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now Nico thanks maybe a clean break is in order a fresh beginning good luck to you Oh. Is that it for Derek? I mean, I guess it would be. Yeah. I guess he got payback, you know, for everyone that he felt like he needed to, uh, you know, sort out. So, and we helped him with that. So I guess, yeah, that was, that was, that wraps up Derek. I'm going to pause it here for today, you guys. So thank you so much for watching this part of GTA 4. Little Jacob is calling. Who am Rasta? You want to play a little bit of pool or something, brother? Pool? Yeah. Sounds good. And I've got nothing serious going on. I'll head over to your place. Yeah, mama, see you, yeah, and what we're not going to do right now is go play pool. So what we're going to do is cancel. Cancel. I'm afraid I won't be making a pool. <laughs> Sorry, man. No problem, Stein. Not at time. Okay. Ah, oh, great, 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 great. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> this part of gta 4 hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did then you know what to do but otherwise i will see you guys in my next video